Hello, hello, Scorpio. So this is going to be a reading, okay? So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. And if it does, please like, share, subscribe to my channel, okay? And hit that little notification button, the little bell icon as well. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm just going to go ahead and step right into the reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please protect me in this reading and let me be aware of the message being given to me. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands showing up here. Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is the message? All right, we got some cards showing up here. We have the Two of Wands, the Lovers, the Page of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Four of Swords. So these are the main energies here, okay? And with these main energies, I feel like you could be dealing with Gemini, okay? A younger uh, Sagittarius Leo Aries. Um, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling as though as... Um, Again, this is um, it's wanting to take action, but yet resting, um, resting and getting these intuitive nudges as well, okay? We have the Hermit card with the Ace of Swords. We also have the Page of Cups here. The Ten of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. The Ace of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. Temperance. The Three of Cups. On the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands. Okay. So. And the reason why I flip my cards out like that, so if you're wondering why they're not in reverse. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the Two of Wands with the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. Now, in this particular image, this woman is looking out. She's looking out, wanting to make a decision, wanting to make a move. And I feel like she definitely will. She definitely will make this decision, okay? It could be a Divine Masculine or a Divine Feminine. Um, or vice versa, okay? But there is a sense of using one's um, spiritual instinct, okay? So, therefore, she goes in hibernation right here with the Four of Swords. So, this is Scorpio's energy. I feel like this is a path you're, you're choosing to take. But into, you will take this path. You will choose this path of the lovers, okay? I feel like you are and you have made a decision already. Possibly you haven't even noticed it. But um, there's a lot of love here, especially with the two aces here. You got the ace of cups and the ace of swords, okay? Now the ace of cups, it can be sometime in June, June 6th possibly. Um, and also... I'm looking at September 6th as well. Something about balancing things out. There was an ending, okay? There was an ending that led to peace. Sovereignty is what I'm seeing. Um, so there's a sense of, you know, I feel like you're waiting for someone. You could be waiting for someone or waiting to take this adventure Okay, now the Hermit card could be a Virgo, so you're stepping into that Hermit mode energy, and you're you're staying in tune as well, spiritually and mentally, but you are opening up your heart space as well. You desire this, you want this, um, and and it's all within the Lovers card here. Okay, so it's a decision you've been you've been nesting on. Okay, especially with the Four of Swords here. 
you've made that decision, okay, to take that that wave. It's like she's going out, and going surfing, okay. Now in the in the middle here is the page of cups. The page of cups is thinking, wondering, thinking about what will happen on this journey. And if you don't go, this is feeling left out in the cold, feeling as though as you missed something, okay. So you're trying to process this, okay, process this ending, but yet balancing things out. And with this balancing it out, I feel like you're going into this hermit mode energy with the four of swords here, with the nine of uh, major arcana, with the hermit cord here, and you're resting, okay? You're resting, you're recouping, you're, you are gaining your heart chakra, and your crown chakra is starting to open up, okay? Um, you're starting to realize, and you're starting to balance things out. Um, within the physical world, okay, because at the end here, I do feel like you are going on your destination. It's going to take some time, Scorpio, but you will reconcile with three people, it looks like. This is spending time with your girlfriend, spending time with your friends, coming together in union as well. Um, now with this five of pentacles, you have a heartache, you have a loss, and I feel like you've been in this hermit mode contemplating for some time now, and now it's time to go. Now it's time you felt your heart chakra and you feel alone but you have that key that key to open up the door to what to balance things out that needs to be um balanced out that possibly you had let go of and intuitively you have this nudge intuitively you have a nudge coming on to you okay possibly in your sleep okay but now there could be someone coming closer to you towards capricorn virgo or you could be going on this journey and i feel like this is you now you could be meeting up with three other people however you are definitely making your way. You have made a decision right here with the three of sword with the three of wands. So this is taking action. Now the knight of swords is really, you know, going after what you want. Going after what you want. And I feel like after a, a long time of, of thinking, of contemplating with your heart chakra, you've made a very strong decision, okay, to release the things that do not serve you and to balance things out within your heart space and your mental space to move forward, okay? Now, with that being said, I'm going to pull some cards here. Um... Let's see, this is for Scorpio, Sun, so Rising, Venus. What is the message coming through for Scorpio? Spirit guides, guardian angels. Okay, so we have dreams and decisions, and this is where. Um, you have so many opportunities coming your way. We have new vitality. We have music playing, music to your ear. And this is beautiful because the reason why I say it's beautiful is because this is a new beginning starting. And, and, I, and I feel like you've picked it. You've picked the heart space, you know, and it's that heart energy. And she is holding that energy here if you see it with her hands. So this is really going after what you want. Again, we have that energy here with holding that heart space energy. And then here's the heart here. So this is healing from heartache as well. Um, coming out of this energy. And this is well-deserved reward. So this is standing on top of you know, a tower that you built for yourself. This is strong foundation. This is almost completion with the nine. So with number one and the nine, this is 10 and seven. So we have an eight. So this is a possible coming back around, you know, life path number eight as well. This is an energy of coming back around to, um, to fix something not to fix something, but to, um, really get at it again. You know, this is, um, if you don't succeed, you try and try again, right? And then you're going to get it right. So I feel like that is um, what's going on right now with you. Um, let's see if there's any negative, the negative side, the positive, and the possible outcome. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus.
Okay, so we have gratitude, um, last quarter moon, so gratitude, giving thanks, giving thanks for, you know, um, this is someone who could be older, you know, um, like a family member, um, giving thanks for what they have done for, they have helped you with, or, you know, this is something, this is something positive. So you're able to give gratitude and giving gratitude gives back to you. This is like, as what you put in, you get out. Okay. And then we have realization. So you're giving gratitude for the realization that has been, that you have been receiving from spirit is what I'm getting. Um, and this could be through someone as well. Okay, we have two. So we have resistant and boundaries. So I feel like in the past you have resisted. You have, um, you have resisted this realization. Okay, but giving that gratitude, um, giving that gratitude, and you put, you put boundaries as well. Okay, which is, it's not a bad thing, you know, um, I'm going to pull one card for these boundaries here because sometimes these boundaries are good and it's like you resist the change here. Now we have number 19. Uh, let's see. So this is a completion. If this is... I want to read this to you because this has a lot of meaning in this card, in this book. In this card here as though she feels like she's tied to something so contemplation so there's a lot of contemplation being around um, being around here um, with you it says while we share common traits with all other living entities and are indeed linked to them in so many ways our humanity is probably best defined by our awareness of ourselves we alone can look up at the sky and contemplate our role in the universe we alone have the freedom of choice and the capability of rate of rational thought beyond survival and perception we alone can question relative and question values and choices right from wrong our consciousness is both a blessing and a burden it provides us with the ability to ponder and question more than anything other living entities we have the cap the capacity to consider variables and options for the future and to be either in count encourage or concerned about the possibilities so this is contemplating it says man is the only animal for whom is for whom his own existence is a problem which he has to solve so this is about solving an issue and this is like stop resisting there's such a realization give gratitude that you have this vision okay um, yes, set up boundaries, but don't resist what is being given to you to resolve issues, okay? And I feel like you in the hermit mode and with the knight of swords here, you're not, you're not resisting. You know, there is a lot of this resisting. And for some of you, um, it's going to be in wonder, you know, but if you want to break free from this, just go ahead and do it. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of resting, um, a lot of uh, nourishing your body, your mind and your soul, giving yourself knowledge, reading more books, opening, opening your heart chakra as to giving gratitude will help you out and to balance. This is the card of Sagittarius to balance out what you have locked out. Okay. And I feel like what you have locked out is, um, I want to say perseverance, but this is a sense of going for it. Okay. You are resilient. You can handle it and God won't give you too much to handle. You know, you are standing on top of your throne here. You know exactly what to do and how to get there. Now these pages can definitely be, um, be brought to, uh, manifestation and turn into the Knight of Pentacles here, which is allowing you to bring yourself forward. Okay. Um, now with that being said, 
I'm going to leave these cards here and I want to pull you a spirit card because I felt the need to, okay? This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh wow. Okay. Disease of Manakee. Seeking potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. Okay, so again, this is getting that clear vision, okay? Getting that clear vision, maybe needing to take a vacation as well, but getting that water, getting that milky water and releasing it. Stop resisting the growth and let new come in. This is out with the old and in with the new. This is a sense of um, well-deserved rewards. Um, giving gratitude, new vitality. This is the rainbow. This is um, the promise, okay, that you will definitely step into a situation that's going to bring you many options, okay? And Spirit is saying, stop contemplating so much because now is the time to give the gratitude within your heart chakra because you are the high priestess and you know that you had to let go of things that do not serve you even though you feel left out in the cold here spirit is saying using your mind and making that decision with the lover's card here using your intellect and your knowledge uh, brings you into the hermit mode and it's allowing you to definitely make a decision that for some of you um had to rest and reconsider the option okay even though it has been brought to your ideas and your knowledge okay this realization is taking you on an adventure not only on an adventure here but it's an it's enabling you to balance things out between people that you once was um with um this is new people as well um this is adventure this is boundaries that you have set up now i feel like you are turning over a new leaf and clearing and that that water you know this is um seeing potential seeing potential bringing unconsciousness to light so where there was unconsciousness you are starting to fill with your heart chakra and definitely you are starting to make a move to new prosperity a new place a new journey in the physical okay and um this is something that Spirit is saying, stop resisting. Stop resisting. This is something that you deserve. It is a new beginning to take action with. There's so many different options here for you, okay? Daydreams and decisions won't get you anywhere, but movement will. So thank you for this reading, Scorpio. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel.